So let's start off by looking at solving equations. Solve them. A good review for Math 137. We'll do a couple of examples of these, and you can find the steps in your textbook. So for example, if I have 12t plus 9 is equal to 4t minus 7. Notice I have variables on each side of the equation, so I need to get those together. I like to take the smaller to the larger. And when I do that, right, subtracting, I end up with 8t plus 9 equals negative 7. The next thing I need to do is to subtract 9 from both sides. So I have 8t is equal to negative 16. And the last step is to divide. Divide by 8. And I end up with t equaling negative 2. Okay? Basic example. Um, I'll put this one over here. Nice little one that we have. Negative 2 thirds y equals negative 12. I like this example because you have a fraction in it. How do we get rid of that fraction? Well, we multiply by the reciprocal. So negative 3 over 2 times negative 3 over 2. Please note, it doesn't matter where you have the negative sign. Okay, so this side, everything reduces. All right, get a bunch of ones here. And y is equal to, again, this can go over 1. You don't have to do that. 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into 12 six times. Negative 6 times negative 3 gives us a positive 18. Okay, so another one with a little more meat to it. Ready for this. 5 times the quantity u minus 1 minus the quantity u minus 2 is equal to 10 minus the quantity 2u plus 1. Now it looks daunting, but we're going to bring it down very quickly. Okay, distributive property, 5u minus 5, distribute this negative, so minus u plus 2 equals 10, and again, distribute that negative, minus 2u minus 1. On both sides, let's combine like terms. We have a 5u minus u, which is 4u. Negative 5 plus 2 is a negative 3, which is equal to, I'm going to put the variable term first, okay? And then you just have 10 minus 1, which is plus 9. Next step, let's get the variables together. Again, I like to take the smaller to the larger, so plus 2u, plus 2u. So 6u minus 3 is equal to 9. Next step, let's get this addition done, get that 3 out of the way. So I have 6u is equal to 12, and divide both sides by 6 and u is equal to 2. In the next video, I'm going to do linear equations, but this time I'm going to have fractions in them.